Hello there and welcome to the new video where I will going to discuss the topic about do this before jumping to data analysis field. So it is a career advice or it's it's one of those questions which I have received many times as to uh, I want to join the data analysis field. What should I do? I want to join the training institute for learning the data analysis. What should I really do? Because this is really a life changing event and I have received it so many times. So I thought let's let's create a topic about this so that I am able to give my input based on my experience that I have observed and what I'm going to tell you in this video is a very simple experiment that you can do with you to really understand what you really need to do before jumping to data analysis field whether you will really going to enjoy this field or not or whether you can really evaluate the training if, if you have let's say decided that you want to come into a data analysis and want to join some training then with this experiment you can actually evaluate whether the training that is being uh, that you are about to get is something useful or not so stay with me in this video and you will going to get a lot of knowledge before jumping into the data analysis field because it can be yay or nay or it can be make or break sort of a, a situation where you can decide whether you want to come into this field or not and evaluate the courses and trainings uh, and on on both of these scenarios okay so the data analysis field is growing which is growing with a fast pace and it is an attractive field right and that's the reason most people are reaching out uh, and trying to see what really happens in the data analysis field and it is attractive because uh, the pay of this field the pay in this field is relatively good also the pay is good for wide variety of uh, educational background. I mean, you have people uh, who have done Bachelor of Commerce or Bachelor of Science or even engineering graduates are coming in and joining this field. And uh, because the pay is good, it has become one of the attractive option. After that, uh, there is a good work life balance. I mean, what you get is based on my experience or the companies that I have worked mostly the multinational companies is basically you have a good work life balance where you have the number of hours in which you need to work. The work environment is pretty good. Also, if you need to take a time, a day off or a half day off, or if you need to plan your holidays, generally there are no issues. People are really open. The managers are open. The leadership is open to hear about, uh, to, to basically take your inputs and give you a good work life balance. Even companies have a special focus on that. After that, uh, there is a clear opportunities to growth. The clear opportunities to growth is, is really happening because once you are into a data analysis field, you can decide whether you, want, you are more technical in this field, then maybe you can go on the data engineering side. If you have both technical and analytical mindset, you can go on the data scientist side. Or if you are someone who really loves the graphs, visualization, infographics, and things like those, you can become a visualization developer as well. So the opportunities are pretty much there and very clear as to what you want to do or become. After that, you have the opportunity to come contribute both on functional and technical side. It is because once you have created the analysis and if it is a repeated analysis, you may want to automate it. And that's usually what happens, right? You have created a report, you have created a presentation, you want to make sure that you automate it. And that's where for those guys who are using Microsoft Excel, basically start learning macros. That's what happened with me that I first started learning macro uh, back in the day. And then uh, we moved, I moved on to a different programming language because as, as and when data becomes huge, you move on from spreadsheet to environment like SQL, where you are learning the structured query language to basically manipulate, do more and more data analysis. And then we move on, I moved on to furthermore, uh, big, uh, bigger and better and flexible programming language like Python, where you can do a lot more data analysis. So based on what your interest area is, uh, still you have the opportunity where you can be functionally good and technically good. So it's like a jack of all trade or best of both the worlds, what I would say. And then what you have is basically a great community support. So the great co community support is available because uh, there are a lot of newcomers uh, who are coming in and people, as I said, is pretty open to share the knowledge. I mean, you have 
communities on the LinkedIn, on the Twitter, on the Facebook where people are discussing about ideas, sharing their knowledge as well as you know, giving suggestions and giving you the feedback about, about your work. So that's why there, are, there is a great community support for data analysis as a field and you can really get a good support out of it during your journey. Now, with that, uh, and many more experienced uh, data analysts will actually going to tell you about uh, why this field is more attractive. I mean, I could list out five main reasons what I could find is as, as part of my uh, journey into the data analysis as a field. Okay, so there comes the next question. I have understood um, that this field is good, fine. So what if uh, when I join a training institute, well, training institute or individuals these days are basically picking up this opportunity where they are seeing that more and more people are coming in into this field and you are seeing that your emails or your phone is bombarded with a lot of uh, you know institutes or even the individuals who are basically offering their trainings. So which training is really useful is something, is a criteria you need to decide because you will going to spend not just the money but your time, the, you can still get, get the money back, let's say by having a good salary, by getting a raise, or even your own company can even finance that uh, or, or give, give you that uh, money to basically get a training. But what you will spend the most uh, important thing is the time, right, which you will never going to get back. So you want to make sure that you not only just spend the money in the right direction, but also the time in the right direction. And that is why I want to show you or I want to give you this experiment, which I will show you in a minute as to what you really need to do so that once you have done the training, you are not confused about uh, uh, whether this is a good training or what should I really do. And in many cases, I have seen that even after getting a training, people don't have a really good idea about the data analysis because based on the interviews that I take, people don't have a very basic understanding of the different types of data, what to do when you have a particular type of data type, uh, types of aggregations, the analysis, when to take sum, when to take average, even those basic things, people don't have a very great idea about that. So to basically have a good understanding and you are not confused in the end, even after spending money and time, this is the experiment that you need to take. So experiment, I will going to tell in a minute, but overall data analysis as I'm so showing over here is a process where you basically uh, gather the data uh, and uh, analyze the data, interpret the data and present the data. And this is what I will going to talk in the, uh, in the experiment. That's why I wanted to show you this slide or this particular image, which is more like a process, right? It is, it is a running cycle that, that is happening. And if you enjoy this, the experiment which I'm about to tell you, then definitely you will going to enjoy the data analysis field and that will be your point where you can decide whether you want to come into this field or not and even decide the training that you need to take. Okay, so what do you really need to do? The crux of everything, what do I do to before jumping into the data analysis field? Well, what I want to show you is an experiment which is very, very simple. It's a very simple thing. You can do it anytime during the day and get the, get, get the best results out of it and get a good experience of the data analysis field. Because like I said, what happens in data analysis field, if you are working in a company, is that you take the data from various different places, massage the data, clean the data, uh, analyze, interpret, and present the data. The same thing you will going to do. How? Let me tell you. So here is the one thing. This is an experiment that you need to do. Three things I will show you the three different images, right? These are some of the activities that we do on a daily basis, okay? We drink water because sometimes we are thirsty or sometimes people may have just offered us or maybe because of like, we have the bottle in front of us, so let's just go ahead and drink it, right? Or what type of drink that we are drinking? It can be water, it can be even cold drink or it can be your own favorite drink. Now, the second thing is we, we do this activity of eating around two or three times, at least two or three times in a day, like lunch, breakfast, dinner. These are the three meals usually we have. Even many people, including me, I, I do a munching most of the time. 
so sometimes we are having snacks sometimes we are having lunch sometimes uh, i don't know maybe we are we are just having some candy or something so what type of eating that we are doing or we have this strange habit of keep checking our mobile as to what is happening so is somebody calling us is somebody or a message has popped up or uh, we are sitting alone so nothing we just or take our phone and start watching it so what you really need to do is identify your one habit or your one behavior and track it for example for drinking uh, in a day track how much what what you are drinking at what time you are drinking and if possible how much you are drinking and track this behavior for one week right once you are able to track this behavior for one week what you will going to have in the end is the data that you have collected the first process or the first thing what happens in data analysis with and once you have the data with you what you will going to do it you will going to visualize it in a chart now because it is a time data you can have any different type of chart you can have like a simple bar chart you can have simple line chart or it can be a completely non traditional chart at all right where you have something like uh, lines or images or anything which can clearly tell you that uh, at what time you have drink something what you have drink by with the help of a legend or with the help of maybe some image for example if you are drinking water you have a square and if you are drinking cold drink you have circle so when you will see that uh, that particular chart of entire week you will see that if there are five circles then five times during the week you have basically drink the cold drink so that's basically i want you to do this experiment so what this experiment is enabling you this experiment is basically enabling you to do the data analysis of your own behavior and during this process you will actually see the different sentiments for example you will basically see whether you are really enjoying this process where you are gathering the data and recording it and uh, basically uh, have an excitement like what output will it will come in the end and once you have collected it are you really enjoying the process of putting it in in a form of a visualization which can be traditional or a non traditional completing for example this is sort of a visualization which is slightly complex but it's like 24 hours a day and you can write okay if one is circle one is a square one is something else about your drinking habits and basically uh at the end able to track your behavior and understand your behavior and based on what pattern it is revealing you are able to say oh i am drinking very less water but other fluids a lot or i am drinking too much of a cold drink i need to reduce it so that means what you are doing you are basically improving and that's what it happens when you do the data analysis in the in any mnc or in any company where you try to improve the behavior of the Uh, of the process or of the department that you are having so that is main what mainly what it is going on in the data analysis and that's the experience i want you to have it when you are planning to jump on the data analysis field if you are able to complete this experiment for at least one week then you will be able to see that whether you are really ready for this journey or not and how it will going to help you in selecting the right training for you well once you have completed this activity at least for one week my recommendation is that do it for one month but that's like too much so at least one week you should too much you should do and if you are able to do one month i think you will be uh, you will be having a pretty good knowledge by the way so so if you are able to do that at least for one week you will have an understanding what data is the different types of data the visualization that it needs to cover the pattern that you really need to identify and finally what sort of things you need to do to improve it when you are looking at this data now all of this is what training institutes are really offering and you can basically see in what different dimensions they are offering what is the course length how much time they are focusing on each of the topic and in the end whether they have some case study which is taking this entire piece or not 
if they are taking this entire piece and giving you the good output at the end i'm pretty sure you will be able to take the right decision with the help of this small experiment and then only you can you can basically very wisely spend your money as well as your most precious time on this course so that you are ready for with the right set of tools right set of experience and right set of knowledge so that's a small experiment i wanted to share with you uh, which is the most practical advice as at least as far as i think when i was brainstorming about this as to how to basically tell you as to uh, before jumping into the data analysis field you you get an experience into the data analysis and that's what i could come out that by tracking our own behavior we can actually do the entire cycle of data analysis within just one week's time right so let me know how did you find this video whether this advice was useful or not or something you want to add more on to this advice and if you are taking this advice and start doing your uh, tracking of the behavior then let me know in the comments what sort of uh, visualization what sort of data you collected or what sort of improvement that uh, that you could able to drive with the help of this data analysis process so with that i want to thank you so much for spending time with me and uh, going through this uh, this process of understanding this experiment and about the data analysis field and i'll meet you in the next video with some another good new topic till then thank you so much